In this tutorial, I'll showcase for eye catching text effects. Just like this. Let's go ahead and get started. Use this video as an example. Go to the left side of the cap cut and click on the text. Choose the default text left clip. Drag and draw and keep the text the same length as our clip. Then go to the right side of the cap cut. Remove the previous text and insert the new text. Change the font and font size. Now scroll down and give it a background color. Then left click on the text. Drag and get to the start of the text. Adjust height and width. Suppose the start is our start position. Move the playhead to the first frame. Then click at keyframe. Move to the last frame, make second keyframe. Then left click hold. Move the text and get to the end of the text. So this is our ending. Let's position it. Copy the Y value, then click on the back arrow. To move to the first keyframe, paste the Y value. Done. Let's see what we have so far. Suppose the text moving to fast. We can increase the text length. Select the second keyframe and increase the distance between it and the first keyframe. If you want the text to move faster, select the second keyframe and shorten the distance between it and the first keyframe. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Just like this. Let's go ahead and get started. Go to the left side of the cap cut and click on the text. Choose the default text. Left click, drag and drop to timeline. Then go to the right side of the cap cut. Remove the previous text and insert the new text. Change the font and font size. Then left click and drag the text to the bottom of the video. Suppose the start is our start position. Move the playhead to the first frame. Then click add position keyframe. Move to the last frame, make second keyframe. Then, left click drag up the text and get to the end of the text so this is our ending. Let's position it, copy the X value. Then click on the back arrow to move to the first keyframe. Paste the X value. Done. Let's see what we have so far. Suppose the text moving to fast dot, we can increase the text length. 
Select the second keyframe and increase the distance between it and the first keyframe. If you want the text to move faster, select the second keyframe and shorten the distance between it and the first keyframe. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Just like this. Let's go ahead and get started. Go to the left side of the CapCut, click on the text, and select Default Text. Drag and drop in your timeline, extend the duration to 5 seconds. Delete the text default text and type in the word subscribe. Selecting a font, adjust font size. Then copy and paste the text layer. Click on the first text layer, enable the stroke, and choose a white color for it. Now, let's click the second text layer, select a different color for each letter. You can go with pink, purple, or any color of your choice. Feel free to get creative with it. Once you've picked your colors, creating a compound clip by right-clicking on the top layer. Then, choose the mask option, select the horizontal one, and rotate it 90. Add keyframes at the beginning. Move the cursor on the timeline to 3 seconds. Then drag the mask line all the way to the right until all of the text color is revealed. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them all. Thanks for watching. Bye! Just like this. Let's go ahead and get started. Go to left side library, choose black background, Next, click text, dragging and dropping a default text onto the timeline. Go to right side, increase the font size. Then head to the animation tab, select loop. and choose Wave 3. Draft the duration to the longest possible setting for a dynamic effect. Then, create compound clip. Navigate to the Effects tab, select Video Effects, and choose Basic. Scroll down to find Edge Glow, apply it to your text. and adjust the glow intensity to around 8 or 9. Now, click Media. You can go to Library, choose a background you like, and overlay it onto your text.
then change the blending mode to darken for a seamless integration. You can also search free overlay pack from Google. And there you have it, a stunning multicolor changing text effect in CapCut PC. Get creative with different overlays and text variations to make your video stand out. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more tutorials.